After playing badminton, you're tired and a little peckish. I know some normal snacks after playing a sport are like a banana or some chocolate milk or maybe a protein shake or something. But in China, I have something weird after I play badminton I want to show you. Hey guys, I'm Badminton Becky. If this is your first time here, I'm an American living and playing badminton in China. Please hit the subscribe button and follow along on my journey as I talk about all things badminton and try to be a top player in my city. Okay, obviously I'm not in a badminton court. This is a crazy loud street. It's about 10 o'clock at night. Um, I've been at the courts for three and a half hours and I want a little snack before I go home. 10 o'clock at night is not a problem here in Xiamen. Uh, the street is packed. Let me show you. There are lots of food stalls everywhere selling, you know, noodles and duck parts of their body and dumplings and lots of stuff. But there's one thing that I like to eat after badminton and I gotta go find it. This is a local specialty of shaman. It's called fuding ropian. Uh, fuding is the name of a place and ropian is like meat pieces. And I think since it's meat, it's got to have some protein, right? So that's why I think it's a good after badminton snack. It's also not very heavy or fried or anything like that. So, cause you know, I'm not super hungry after playing badminton. So, you know, I'm not looking for anything heavy after badminton. So it's a perfect, after badminton snack for me. Definitely looks disgusting. It's like a meat paste that they put on like a pallet and then they scoop it into boiling hot water. It's pork, but I don't know which part of the pig it is and I don't want to know. Yes, they pour boiling hot water in a plastic bag. Yes, that's obviously not healthy at all, but you know, something's gonna kill me before the uh, cancer of plastic bags is gonna kill me. So I'm not so worried about that. I don't eat this every day. I have it maybe, maybe two, three times a month. My favorite snack after badminton, just because everything else at this time of night is like fried or, greasy or sauced and this has a very light taste so let me bring it home and I'll show you what it looks like. Back home in the precious air conditioning, thank god, <laughs> but here is what it looks like. Since it was like pulverized meat paste, it's like totally mushy, like mushy weird looking meatballs. Mm. But I add a lot of vinegar. The soup doesn't have any flavor by itself. It's just boiling hot water. So whatever you add into your bowl gives it the flavor and I love to add a lot of vinegar. I don't like to add spicy stuff or anything. And it's, it's like chewy meat which sounds gross, but it's not fatty. There's no like cartilage or anything. Like I said, I don't know which part of the animal it is. It's just pork and it's just kind of this like soft meat, meatball, I guess, like a weird looking irregular meatball with like a nice vinegar tang in the soup. So it feels very refreshing. Even though it's hot, it feels refreshing because of the vinegary tang to it. And it's very light, you know, it's not fried and it's not heavy. So it actually is very light to eat. I actually really like this. <laughs> I know it's kind of gross, but I really like it. <laughs> 
I don't always eat this in the summer because it's quite hot. The soup is really hot. You know, gotta make sure all that plastic bag soaks into the soup so I'm digesting it. But, you know, as long as I have air conditioning, I can eat this. <laughs> Now, it's the next day, obviously. I can only eat so much after badminton, but there's something else I wanna show you, so I wanna show it to you now. This is especially good if your main concern is that you're hot and you wanna cool down. This is what you get. It's called sugua tang, which is like four fruit soup, I guess you could translate it. And it's a crazy mix of like traditional things. And then they put a little honey on it to make it sweet. And then they put crushed ice on the top so it's nice and chilly. yet but it's kind of like sweeping the nation here in China double egg yolk ice cream I haven't dared eat this yet but for you guys I will okay ready it really is supposed to be egg yolk flavored like milk the white is like milky flavor and the yellow is egg yolk flavor Guess I wasn't know I didn't know what I was expecting at first, but it's not bad. A little salty and sweet together. Doesn't taste like an egg yolk though. replenish myself after playing badminton or to cool down in this hot 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 summer and I better eat this quick because it's gonna melt <laughs> <laughs> 